All right, folks, get ready for some sizzling Hollywood buzz. You won't believe where Little People star Matt Roloff and his fiance Corinne Chandler are currently shacking up. It's like something out of a movie. They're living in a double-wide trailer on Matt's whopping 106-acre family farm, while their dream home is under construction. Yeah, you heard me right. But that's not all, folks. Karen's son Connor recently spilled the tea on their unusual living situation while he's been staying at her place in Portland, Oregon. And no, it's not because he's into tiny house living. Connor is bunking there following a split from his baby mama, Ashley Washam. Drama, drama, drama. Now, here's the kicker. Matt and Karen, who've been an item for over six years, are all set to tie the knot next year. And let me tell you, they've been in full-on architect mode for months designing their dream custom-built home. The Roloff patriarch, at the spry age of 61, spent a good five years planning this dream home, and he's been sharing pics of the colossal foundation on social media. He captioned one shot with, Building is a process. The foundation is called foundation for a good reason. Cryptic, right? In an exclusive interview with the U.S. Sun, Karen's son spilled the beans on the construction project and where Matt and Karen are actually living. Drumroll, please. They're still on the farm, despite putting parts of it up for sale. Connor spilled the tea right on camera, saying, I'm currently staying here until I kind of figure out what I'm going to do with myself. But she and Matt mainly go from the Arizona house to the farm, and they stay in the double-wide trailer on the farm. That's been shown in the episodes. Very many times until their new house is done being built. Double-wide drama. But hold on. There's more to this saga. The power couple also owns a home in sunny Arizona, which they snagged from Karen's parents back in June 2018 for a cool $375,000. Now, despite their initial plan to sell her Portland digs, Karen decided to let Connor, who's 24 by the way, crash there while he sorts out his financial situation and Navigat is the joys of co-parenting his two-year-old son, Liam. How's that for family dynamics? Now you might be wondering, why the Arizona shuffle? Well, according to Connor, Karen's more of a snowbird, you know, flying south when things get chilly up north. But here's the twist. She might just be planning to make Arizona her year-round oasis once the new house is ready. Talk about living the dream. Matt kicked off construction on their new digs back in March and gave a shout out to his youngest son, Jacob, for lending a hand with this Herculean project. Matt's words at the time, very exciting to be finally, after five years, of planning to be starting on our new house. And get this, Jacob's in the mix, cutting up logs and everything. This home is going to be a combo of wood they bought and some they're cutting on their farm. Busy, busy spring summer indeed. And here's the cherry on top of this house hunting Sunday. The property's going to be on the famous Roloff Farms in Helvetia, Oregon. You know the place known for its 36-acre pumpkin patch. Yep, they're starting fresh after Karen made it clear she's not about living in Matt's old family house, the one he shared with his ex-wife Amy and their four kids. You know you're in the deep end of drama town when someone says, I would never live in the big house. Ever. Put a pin in that. But wait, there's more folks. Matt's been on a selling spree, parting ways with the main house and a chunk of the farm to lighten his load. According to Realtor, this five-bed, three-and-a-half bathroom beauty, sitting on a 16.6-acre lot, is listed for a cool $3,395. Matt initially wanted $4 million for the whole package, but had a change of heart, listing it for rent instead. And guess what? It's back on the market as a sale item. Talk about a real estate roller coaster. In case you missed it, Matt and Amy's divorce was inked and sealed in May 2016, ending their 30-year union. And wouldn't you know it, Matt started dating Karen, who was once his assistant, in 2017, and he popped the big question just this year. Woo, that's a lot of drama for one family, don't you think? All right, my fellow celebrity news sleuths, that's the scoop on Matt Roloff and Karen Chandler's unconventional living situation and their dream home construction. What do you make of all this? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. 
and don't forget to give that thumbs up if you're loving these star-studded stories. And hey, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss out on the latest buzz. Thanks for joining me, Max, on this wild ride. Until next time, stay curious and stay fabulous. And stay fabulous.